So we made it to Florence, Oregon. We are on the Sayusaw River at the campground and marina. We're gonna show you around this campground, show you a little bit of old part of downtown, where to eat, go over to the Pacific Ocean, kind of see the beach over there and see how windy and crazy it can get. So hang out for a second. We'll show you this park, show you the area, and we'll go from there. So I'll give you a quick walkthrough. As you come into the park, the first thing you're gonna see is the campground marina check-in. Right here at the office, just to the side of it, you can check in after hours. Now, if you notice when you first come in, this first section is gonna be all your shaded area. So if you're looking for shade, when you reserve your spot, make sure you get the first section as you pull in. Now looking back at the office, here's your whole shaded area. To the right side is gonna be more of just your pull through wide open parking lot type camping. And all these spots are $42. You do have some on the back side, up against the berm. Now let's walk over here, close to the water. Now we're over here to the back row. Give you an idea where we are at. This is looking back over at the office, the shaded area, the center spots, and all the way over here, on the far right as you pull in, is this row that backs up to the water. Now these spots are $5 extra, but you are up against the water. You have a nice little grass area behind it. Let's fast forward to that. Okay, so looking here on the back of the water side, you have this nice grass area to hang out. Get your picnic tables that are right on the water. Now this is the, this is the actual river behind you that's gonna feed out to the Pacific Ocean. And looking over here, you are looking towards downtown, Highway 101, where this bridge is, and the marina. Now continuing to look to the marina, something that's really cool is that you can walk to the old downtown to your restaurants right from here. This sidewalk is gonna lead us right to downtown. This is looking back over at your office and the campground. As we walk a little bit closer, there's a little market, deli, and this sidewalk heading the to town. Getting a little closer to town, and Sammy spotted Forrest Gump's boat over here. Somebody renamed it, obviously. So we are almost to town. As you walk to town, there's this Novelli's Crab and Seafood. Now, to give you a little history of this place, it was a husband and wife, and they went out fishing and they sold their food until it sold out every day from about 10 a.m. to 2 or 3. And a couple years ago, they were out and their boat capsized in some rough water and they both died. Now their son came in and he took over and he is now running the business and doing the same thing. So they're supposed to have the best chowder and some of the best seafood around. Okay, as you first come into town on the boardwalk, we're going to pass by this ICM and Moe's. A local told us that these are good restaurants, but they're not the local fish. So if you really want food cooked from here, you're going to want to go further into town. Or just give up the food to come across the street to BJ's. Little view downtown. Or you can stop at a barber shop. And as a side note, that twirling red on there used to mean that they did bloodletting. Seriously. This is the Kyle building built in 1901. The bottom side has the Bridgewater restaurant. Looks really good, but they're closed on Monday. Now about 30 minutes north of Florence is a town called Yachts. This has got the best fish and chips in Oregon. As you're walking through the old part of downtown, you can stop and look over here at the bridge. This is the draw bridge over the Sayusaw River. And Sayusaw is actually named after the Indians that lived here, carbon dated back 8,000 years. In the background, you can see the sand dunes of Oregon. That goes about 40 miles south of here. In and out, you can rent some ATVs and actually ride on those sand dunes. We're gonna go right next door here to the Waterfront Diner, that's, or not diner, Waterfront Restaurant, and uh, check it out. This is supposed to be the best in town. Locals say this is the best place to eat in town. Waterfront Depot. We made it to the Pacific Ocean. It's got to be 50 mile an hour wind go. 
сейчас. If you get to do some fishing while you're here, there's a fish cleaning station right here next to the RV park. Okay, so while you're while you're at while you're at, hold on, wait, just leave it. So while you're at the RV park, just uh, take about a 20 minute ride. And you can check out this lighthouse. There's also a sea cave up here. Tons of sea lions in there. You can walk down. Sixty dollars person. Check that out. We're gonna go check out the lighthouse. When you stop at this overlook right here, you can check out some of the sea lions right down here. And some laying on the beach. So you can come down and park below this bridge, which is just a couple minutes from that overlook. It comes down to the beach. And you can see the lighthouse. I think we found a little baby shark right here. So there was the assistant keeper's house and the head keepers. The only thing that's left is the assistant keeper. Of the lighthouse okay so we are back from the hurricane winds out on the pacific ocean and that wraps up our video of this rv park so if you're going to be staying in oregon you're coming up the coast check it out good price simple park right in the water close to the ocean good old school downtown area with locals with fresh food so check it out and we'll see you in the next video